All right. I am really excited for today's class. I feel like it's been a while since I taught a live length and flow. Um, and this is perfect because I'm actually on the first day of my cycle. So this is exactly the type of movement that is nourishing during your late luteal phase and your menstrual phase. But if you're at any other point in your cycle, this will be appropriate as well because it's just going to be really low impact, gentle stretching. We'll definitely get some heat going in our core, but overall, a restorative flow if you are cycle syncing your movement. Um, hello to those joining live. Hello if you're catching the replay. This is going to be the last live members only class that I'm going to put up for free on YouTube. So if you're interested in joining the community and getting access to these classes weekly, then I would suggest joining the membership. There is still a great yearly special going on. So if you want to take advantage of that, make sure you do so very soon. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email. My DMs are open on Instagram. But we're just going to jump into this flow. We are going to be using a hand towel. So if you did not already bring one with you to the mat, make sure that you quickly grab one. We're just going to need that for a little bit of extra resistance. Um, but we'll get to that later. So you can just have that set off to the side. And we're going to start by coming down onto our backs. So we're just going to rest our head down nice and heavy on the mat. Take your feet nice and wide on the mat as well. And then turn your toes in. So we're going to be a little pigeon toed here and let your knees fall into each other so they can just support each other here in this resting position. Then place one hand over your heart, the other hand over the soft part of your belly. And we're just going to connect with our breath. So taking a deep sip of air in through the nose. Feeling your lungs and your belly expand beneath your palms. And then a deep exhale. Pushing all the stale air out. Maybe playing with seeing if you can make your inhale take as long as the exhale. So can you spend as much time filling your lungs and your diaphragm? As you do, pressing all of the air out. And take two more deep breaths like that. And again, breathing in deeply. And exhale. As you finish that exhale, just allow your palms to drift down by your sides. And we're gonna separate the knees and turn the heels in and the toes out. So the toes are on the edges of your mat. Your heels are slightly rotated in. And we're gonna take that breath and use it to direct our pelvis now in a pelvic rock. So take that big expansive inhale. And as your belly expands, allow your pelvis to tip forward. So you're opening up this space here in your lower back, pushing your tailbone down. As you exhale, pull your belly button towards your spine as if your belly button was gonna touch the mat beneath you. So you're really imprinting the spine and maybe finding a little curl in the hips. Maybe your cheeks start to hover off the mat. So just finding that breath a few more times. Inhale to roll the pelvis forward. Exhale to draw your navel in and rock the pelvis towards yourself. Using this time to really connect with every part of your body that is touching the mat. So the soles of your feet, the palms of your hands, the back of your elbows, your triceps, your shoulders, your shoulder blades, the back of your pelvis, 
And then noticing what parts of your rib cage are separating from the mat, maybe on the inhale here, and how they find contact with the mat on your exhale. One more big breath in, rolling the hips forward. And exhale, rolling them in towards you. And then just inhale to release the pelvis to its neutral position. Strong palms and feet into the floor. With your exhale, squeeze the glutes, melt the belly, and start to continue that pelvic rock all the way up into a shoulder bridge. At the top here, I want you to find nice long hip flexors. So if you're kind of dropped in your hips, can you squeeze your glutes a little bit more to lengthen the front of your hip flexors? Find that extension through the hips and keep your weight right between your shoulder blades. Take an inhale, send your arms back and overhead. Lots of energy through your fingertips and to the back of your hands, find the mat. And then see if you can pick up your toes. So just your heels are pressing down. You should start to feel your hamstrings here. And then use your exhale, melt your spine down to the mat. Let your tailbone drop. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. The palms are facing in. You're going to use your exhale, draw your knees towards you. So the knees frame the elbows. And then see if you can grab either your insteps here or your ankles, whatever is available to you, into a happy baby stretch. And you're going to press the soles of your feet or your ankles into your fingers here to see if you can drop the back of your hips down into the mat. Deep hip flexion here. And then release your feet back to the mat nice and wide. Palms back down. Use your exhale. Roll the hips up to the top. Find your shoulder bridge. Inhale, arms reach back. Toes lift. Chest melt mid back, low back, pelvis, reach the arms up. Go ahead and actually turn your palms away from you. Find that internal rotation in your shoulders so that when you bring your legs in, you can just readily reach for either your insteps or your ankles. Give those hips a good squeeze and really reach your tailbone down and away from you. So you're not curling your hips off the mat here. You're trying to drop them down nice and heavy. Inhale, release your hands and feet to the mat. Again, exhale, roll the hips up. Inhale, arms reach, toes lift. Melt it down to the bottom, reach up. Rotate your palms, pick up your knees, reach for your feet. Maybe adding a little bit of a rock side to side here across the back of your hips. Kind of exploring what movement feels good in your hip joints today. And then find center again, release the feet and the palms. We're going to do this two more times, rolling the hips up. Inhale at the top, reach the arms back, pick the toes up, dig those heels down. As you melt through the spine, reach palms up, turn the palms out, reach for your feet, find that happy baby. Maybe finding that a bit of a rock side to side. Maybe playing with starting to stretch your legs a little bit, one at a time. Maybe not finding quite a full extension of the knee just yet. Paying attention to what's happening in those inner thighs. Bring it center. Float the feet down, float the palms down. Last time here, rolling the hips up. Nice and long at the top of your shoulder bridge. Inhale, arms back, toes up. Rolling down with your exhale. Arms up, turn those palms, float the knees, reach for your feet. Last happy baby here. Rocking side to side, doing what feels good. Maybe finding a full leg extension now if that's available to you. Just taking time where your body is telling you that it needs it. Maybe one more rock side to side or one more leg extension side to side. Bring it center. And then again, just let those feet drift down towards the floor. You can just rest your hands on your hips here on your hip bones. Inhale center and then exhale. Let your knees fall to the left. Turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Press through your feet on the inhale, bring the knees center. 
Exhale, let the knees fall right. Turn your head over your left shoulder. Press through your feet on the inhale, knees center. Just finding a little windshield wiper here, side to side. So you can get a little bit of a different stretch through the front of the hip flexor and over that quad. Now the next time the knees fall to the left, let them stay there and see if you can hook your left foot gently over your right thigh. Now, if that doesn't feel great, you can just keep them separated. But if you want to increase the stretch, go ahead and hook the foot and then extend the opposite arm, the right arm out. You can have the palm up or down and you're just going to look towards that hand. You're welcome to close your eyes here and just focus on your breath. And take your time to do a little body scan. And notice if you're clenching or holding tension anywhere that it doesn't need to be. Your jaw, your neck, your traps, your shoulders, in your hips, even in the top of that quad. Are you unintentionally gripping anywhere? And if you find a spot of tension, just focus in on it. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release it. Let it soften. Let's take one more deep breath here. As you exhale, carefully unhook the foot. Plant that outside of the left foot back to the floor. Inhale, draw the knees through center. Exhale, let them fall to the right or to the opposite side. You were just on. And gently hook that foot over the top of the thigh. That's what you did on the other side. And we'll swap our arms, sending the left arm out, looking towards the palm. And again, you're welcome to close your eyes here. And just take your time scanning your body. Noticing if it feels a little tighter from one side to the other. If anything's overly tense. And just invite that space with every exhale. Let's take one more deep breath here. As you exhale, release that foot. Inhale, bring the legs through center. And then heel toe your feet towards each other. So they're all the way connected in the middle. And then inhale to reach your arms and legs long. Flare your ribs. You can circle your wrists and ankles here. Reverse the direction. Ah. <sighs> And then relax and soften back into your mat. Inhale, reach to the ceiling. Feel your back get a little wider. And then with your exhale, melt your belly, curl chin to chest. Reach for your thighs to peel yourself all the way up and over. And we're just going to take a stretch forward over our legs here. We'll be flexing and pointing the feet and grab onto your toes if that's available to you. And then releasing that, rolling your spine up to the top. Go ahead and take those shoulders down one or two times. And then let's turn on our mats. We'll come quadruped here, stacking our shoulders over our wrists and hips over the knees here. So we're in our neutral spine here. The shoulders are drawn down the back. We're going to go into our cat cow, finding that big expansive inhale again. Similar to your pelvic rock, but adding a little bit of the thoracic as well. So we look forward as the belly expands towards the mat. And then exhale, push the floor away with your palms, your knees, your shins, the tops of your feet, round your ribs to the ceiling, look in towards your navel. Inhale, melt the belly, look forward. Exhale, push the mat away, round your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, find your curl. Two more breaths here like this. 
Noticing if your shoulders are shrugging up and down. We want to keep the back nice and wide, the neck long, and the movement just in the spine. Last big exhale. Come back to your neutral spine, gaze out over the fingertips, and then place weight into your right arm. You're going to reach your left arm up towards the ceiling on an inhale. And as you exhale, thread the needle, cut it across right underneath your supporting arm or wrist there until you can bring your ear and your shoulder down to the mat. And then if it feels good to slide your supporting palm slightly forward, so it give you a little more leverage, you can. Reconnect with your breath and focus on inviting space into those tight muscles behind your shoulder blade. One more deep breath here. And then exhale, draw your right palm back under your shoulder. Inhale, push down to reach that arm back up to the ceiling and then circle it back, following it with your gaze until you can replace that palm again under your hand, under your shoulder, excuse me. Inhale, opposite arm reaches up, look up, open those ribs and then rotate it under. Thread the needle in the opposite direction, resting to your head and shoulder, sliding that supporting arm forward. And breathing. Two more big breaths here. And then draw that palm back under your shoulder. Press down to reach back up with your right arm. Circle it back, following it with your gaze, bringing it down. And then we're just gonna walk through our hands a few times, stretching from fingertips through the palms and the wrist, realigning those palms back under our shoulders if they moved a little bit. And when you feel evened out, Find your center there, and we're going to flex the ankles to tuck our toes. So you might even want to walk your feet in just a little bit closer so you get a little stretch through the back of the feet and the Achilles. Take an inhale here with your shoulders over wrists, spine neutral. Exhale, just send your weight back, pelvis over the hips. Try not to curl or round at all. We're just sending the energy out through our tailbone. Inhale, draw it forward. Exhale, send it back, increase the stretch in your feet. Inhale, pull forward for three. Two. Pushing the mat away with those palms. Come back center. Now keep the tuck of the toes. Take another inhale here. And on your exhale, you're gonna hover your knees. So put weight into your feet, knees hover. Inhale, knees stretch long. You send your heels towards the mat. Ears come between your biceps. Lengthening your tailbone up to where the ceiling meets your wall. So we're not trying to keep our curl like we're doing a Pilates flow here. Just a nice deep stretch for those hamstrings and the calves. And then with your exhale, draw your knees towards your chest. Inhale, tap them down, draw your shoulders over your wrists. So with our exhale, knees hover. Inhale, knees lengthen, hips reach up and out. Another exhale to draw the knees forward. Inhale, shift the weight. Three more times like that. Exhale to lift the knees. Inhale to stretch. Exhale to pull knees forward. Inhale to center. Two. And last one. Keep this shape here, this kind of downward facing dog. And we're just going to pedal the legs out. Go for a little run, sending one heel down and softening the opposite knee to lift the heel. Working both heels down towards the mat if they're not already there, trying to create some more space 
down the back side of the leg. And then pick both heels up, send both heels down as close to the floor as you can get. Check in with your pelvis. Are you curled or are you lengthened? You want to reach long, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, bend your knees, elbows towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen. So maybe your forearms, your elbows will touch, maybe they won't. But try to keep the shoulders down the back. We're gently increasing the stretch down the back of the legs. Here for two. One. And then take a deep breath in. Exhale. Knees draw down towards the mat. Untuck the toes. Keep your big toes together. Separate the knees as wide as your mat. And go ahead and switch your hips back. Take a rest here. Allowing your chest just to sink between your thighs. Letting your fingers wiggle, your wrists can circle. Open and close your fists to stretch out your hands after bearing weight. Noticing the expansiveness in that inhale in the back of your ribs. Taking one more deep breath here. And then curling in, rolling up, up. Take those shoulders down. And we're gonna reach for our towel next. So you can just kind of fold your towel over one long shape for you. Okay, so we're holding our towel end to end here, finding some tension, allowing that to widen our back. We're just gonna start with a nice deep breath in, reaching up and bringing our gaze up to open the chest. And then as you exhale, allow yourself to round forward. You're gonna hook the towel around the front of your knees and then continue with your curl, pulling back in a way. So you're kind of curling your hips under against your heels and allowing those shoulders to pull down your back. And then shift your weight forward, inhale. Pick the towel up, reach up, opening the chest and shoulders. Exhale, curling in, hook the knees, curl it back. Three big breaths here like this. Two, arching the back into extension and then rounding into flexion, using the tension of the towel to give you a little deeper stretch in that upper back. One more breath here. And come center. Now I'm gonna come totally flat here on the mat. We're gonna start to add some rotation here. So I'm gonna take my towel over to my left side. And as I bring it parallel to my thigh, I'm gonna shift my hips away from it. And I'm trying to draw that towel down here. So as my hips drop down in the opposite direction, I'm gonna slide the towel as far as I can away and then pick up the front arm. So I'm peeking under it, opening that shoulder, close it back down and then start to center the hips, draw the towel in, pick it up and over. You're gonna rainbow it overhead to the other side and then reverse it. Hips shift in the opposite direction as you send the towel out. Peek under that arm, anchor the bottom fist, close it down, bring it in up and over to your first side. We've got three more of these guys. Up and over, shifting the ribs, shifting the hips, pull away, peek under that arm, Bring it in, up and over. Now, last time on our first side here, peek under that arm, nice big stretch there. Draw it down and you're gonna let your hips continue all the way down to the mat. So you're gonna sit onto that back hip. The top leg is gonna lengthen out. Bottom leg stays exactly as it is with the sole of the foot on the inner thigh. We've still got our towel. So you're gonna keep same fist as leg against that inner edge of the leg, slide it out, top arm picks up, peek under, 
and pull it in. Just that much, four more times here. So as I'm coming into this side bend, I'm trying not to let that back hip lift. I'm dropping it down nice and heavy and bring it in for three. Two. Last one here. Reach it out nice and long, nice deep breath. And bring it in. Now we're going to rotate our ribs a little bit more to face that foot. Flex the toes back. Hook the center of your towel around the ball of your foot. Sit nice and tall like you're picking your chest up here. And then start to pull your elbows in towards your waist. You're going to hinge forward from your hips, keeping your back as flat as possible. And then as you exhale, push your toes out into the towel, kind of point your ankle round your forehead towards your knee. And then inhale, flex the toes back, lift the chest. Exhale, round forward over the knee. So we're just flexing and pointing that foot and finding a little variation of extension and flexion in our upper body. Let's find that one more time. Lift, go ahead and unhook your foot, pull that back in, and we're just gonna tuck this knee back underneath and come centered on the legs, starting onto the other side. So the opposite side, reach the hips away, slide your towel, peek under, close it in, draw in, up and over, keeping resistance in that towel the whole time. Hips draw away as the towel slides out, Peek under the arm, close it in. Center, rainbow your towel over. We've got three more of these. Using your breath, kind of as you see fit now. We've kind of gotten into a rhythm here if you wanna use the exhale to arc the towel over. If it feels better to use the inhale, you're welcome to. Last time, peeking under that arm, stretch those obliques, bring it down, bring it in as you drop back onto the opposite hip and extend the top leg out. Find your tension in the towel, slide your fist along the inner edge of your thigh, reach into your side bend and pull it in. Here for four. Three, dropping that back hip heavy against the mat as you stretch away from it. Getting tension in the towel even on this side bend here. Last one. Drawing it back in now. Rotate your ribs to face the foot. Hook the ball of the foot there. Lift your chest and then pull with your elbows hinging forward. And then exhale, round forehead to knee. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, lift. We've got three. Two. And the last one. Flex the foot back. Unhook from there. Let's sweep our legs out underneath us. You can give them a good little shake here. Make sure they're even. And then find your towel again, tension from end to end, reach it out in front of your shoulders. Big exhale, round forward, spine stretch forward over those legs. And then with your exhale, start to roll it down. Keep the inner thighs pulled together. Tailbone curls under, ribs find the mat. Inhale, reach your arms back and overhead. Exhale, reach to the ceiling, chin to chest, curl it up and over. And now we're keeping the towel above the legs, keeping resistance the whole time. Three more here. Rolling through your spine, kind of noticing if it's feeling pretty even or if you're favoring one side.
Now, last time here, coming up and over the legs. Reach forward. You're going to flex your right foot and hook the towel around the center of your right foot. So from there, with that hook, as you pull it narrow, you're going to want to pull away to stretch the elbows all the way. So you have your nice deep curl. Keep the curl. Let that heel lift up off the mat as you roll back and down, allowing your head to rest. And then we're going to bend that knee in. From here, with the knee bent in, we want to start to level our hips out. So take an inhale. On your exhale, you're going to push your foot forward into the towel, keeping the knee bend. When you can't go any further, you're going to allow your chin to come towards your chest. Find your curl. So there's lots of resistance. You should feel the back of your leg here. Stretch it all the way straight with straight arms. And then pull it towards you. Let your head rest back. And then you can invite a little bit more hamstring stretch by bending the elbows. Stretch it away from you. We would go back the way we came from. So find your curl. Bend the knee, keep resistance. And then rest your head back. And you can increase that hip flexion, pulling the thigh towards your chest. Exhale, push it away. Find your curl. Stretch the leg. Rest your head. Pull it closer, reach it away, find your curl, bend the knee, rest it back, find that hip flexion. One more time like this. Give it a little pull here. Now find those straight arms where you have tension in the towel. We're gonna keep the leg straight and go into our tree. So with your exhale, Keep pushing that hamstring and heel forward. Rock your chin towards your chest. Use the resistance in the towel, not by bending your arms, but by pushing through your foot to come up towards the top here. Let your heel come all the way down. Keep it against the ball of your foot, but as you round forward, stretch the towel open to the sides. So you continue to keep tension in it. And then as you exhale and round back, draw your arms in narrow. Exhale, scoop the leg up off the mat. And with control, roll it down, down. At the back there, you can give that hamstring a little extra stretch and then push the leg away. Nod chin to chest, roll it up. Keep tension, stretch forward, crown of the head towards the foot, towel wide, scoop it back. Leg hovers. You roll, roll down, pull it close. Now last time to come up towards the top. Find the top here. Now before the heel finds the floor, you're gonna draw both ends of the towel together. Opposite hand as leg is gonna grab the towel as close to the foot as you can. Release the other hand and reach into rotation. Twist it back. Don't let this leg cross your midline. Keep it right in front of your hip. Drive through that heel. Can you get taller on your sitting bones? And then fold that in. You're going to cross that ankle over your thigh. Release your grip on your towel. And just take a figure four stretch here. Rounding forward over the legs. One more deep breath into that hip. And then lift it up, extend that leg out. We're going to hook our opposite foot into the towel. So starting with that scoop, almost like you got punched in the gut there. Curl your belly back. Keep your shoulders down, tension in the towel. Roll it down, down, rest your head, and then bend that knee and find your hip flexion. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, find your tabletop Square off your hips, push into the towel when you can't go any further, find your curl. You're looking to your thigh, stretch the heel to the ceiling, rest your head back, give yourself a little extra stretch, press it forward, find your curl, bend the knee in, fold it close. Two more times, just like that. Level the hips, push into the towel, find your curl, stretch the leg, Rest your head, pull it closer, push it away, 
rock to your curl, tabletop position, into the chest. Last time, press the leg away. Find your curl, stretch the leg, rest the head and stretch it back. Now find the resistance, arms are long. Keep the legs straight, find your curl. We go into our tree variation. Now try not to lock out that knee. Use the back of the leg, use your hamstring to help you control the up. Control it forward, heel rests. Towel gets wider as you stretch forward. <sighs> Exhale, scoops back and away. Plug that leg in, roll it back and down. Take a little stretch, push it out, rock to your curl. Notice if your left hip is still reaching forward, the more even your hips are, the more control you're gonna have here. Towel wide as you stretch forward, scoop back, roll back. Take your stretch. Last time here, coming up to the top. Pause here. Grab both ends of the towel with the opposite hand and then open into your rotation, lifting higher on your hips. Look back over those fingertips and then fold it in. Cross ankle over thigh. Take your figure four stretch. Gently rolling up from there. Send your legs out long in front of you. Got one last move here to finish things off. You're gonna take that towel forward off your shoulders again. Find that spine stretch over your legs. Instead of rolling back center though, we're gonna rotate. So I'm gonna bring my right palm down towards the floor, lift my left one towards the ceiling as much as I can, and then try and keep contact with the floor as I roll back over my right hip. Squeeze the inner thighs together here for control. Roll all the way back to your right shoulder. Rest your head and see if you can keep your hands to the mat as they circle overhead or to the floor. And then all the way to the left, you pick up the right arm, start to find your curl and roll up on the left side and find that centered place over the legs. Reverse it, rotate to the left. Right arm lifts, pull up on the towel as you roll back, roll back. Circle your arms overhead. Depending on your shoulder flexibility, taking them all the way to the floor might not feel super awesome. So you can keep them lifted and more engaged above your head if that feels more what your body is looking for today. Find center, we're gonna do two more in each direction. So just play with this movement, rotating to the right. See what feels good maybe getting some adjustments as you roll in that rotation and trying to find space between those shoulder blades as you keep resistance in the towel. Last one each side here. Curling up on the left, through the left side of the back. Centered, twisting left, rolling down. Circling overhead to the right. Rolling it up, go ahead and hook both feet into the towel. Walk your sitting bones out. Get yourself even, lift your chest, pull both elbows towards your waist. Breathe deeply, relax the feet, fold forward, and then roll it up. Bring the shoulders down a few times. Come center here, crossing the legs. Take a nice deep breath in. Bring the hands together overhead and down in front of your heart center, closing your eyes and just taking a moment to center yourself to absorb the space we just created in our body and returning to the rest of your day, taking a moment of gratitude for spending this time with your body, 
Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and I'll see you on the mat next week. <music>